Sustainable agriculture is very important for people that live on an island. Myself and my family, we live on Oahu, and it's unbelievable that 90% of our food is imported from off-island, usually from the U.S. mainland, uh, possibly from Asia. And as we've been seeing lately, there are worldwide catastrophes that can really wreak havoc on our food supply. My talk is to convince you that sustainable agriculture is important for our livelihood and can be thought of as an insurance policy. And our brand of sustainable agriculture is called aquaponics. Aquaculture is the growth of fish. We use tilapia because it's good tasting and it's very hardy when uh, being grown in cultured conditions. Hydroponics is a science of growing plants in a soilless medium. So using water supplemented with chemicals and um, we don't really want to add a real lot of chemicals to our water to grow plants because we're trying to do the green thing. We're trying to get away from having too many chemicals in our food supply. So if you combine these two sciences, aquaculture, the culturing of fish, hydroponics, the soilless culture of plants, and combine those, we have aquaponics, which is the utilization of tilapia fish. We grow those, we pump out the fish water, and we use that fish water to grow plants. Okay. Here we have sustainable agriculture via aquaponics. Here we have the fish tank containing the tilapia fish water, the gravel or cinder containing grow bed. It's called a biofilter. What will happen is the fish water will be filtered through the gravel and cinders, taking out the particulate fish waste. And we can throw the seeds into the gravel bed and the plants will grow, utilizing the nutrients from the fish. And the, the fish water will continue on and go into the sump pump bucket with a pump that will pump the water back to the fish tank in a closed loop fashion. So what we can do with sustainable agriculture by the use of aquaponics is we can grow our plants with zero cost. Of course, initially there will be some startup cost to you know, purchase the fish tank, the gravel, the gravel containing grow bed, and those supplies, and the pump. After we get this growing, we can offset these costs by the, the, the utilization of the plants and we can use these plants to offset our food costs. We're hopeful that a family of four can supplement their food in enough so that one meal per day can be obtained from their garden. And that would you know, be one third of their food costs and eventually they could recover that initial investment. So what we can do also is we can utilize rainwater catchment so that the water comes in free we can use solar or wind power to power a pump. We don't need a real lot of power for that to circulate the water back to the fish tank. So what we can do here is we can allow these plants to go to seed and we can collect those seeds and have sustainable agriculture. We have all the water we need, the power, the sun, we need the sunshine and the seeds. All we have to do is be able to manufacture our own fish food, which is very easy to do, very feasible. I strongly suggest to you that if you live on Oahu or any other island or anywhere in the world for that matter, that you think very closely about the concept of sustainable agriculture via aquaponics.